Happy New Year everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had an amazing holiday and an amazing New Year's Eve weekend. I had such a great weekend. I spent time with my family and my nieces and it was just amazing. And everybody is back to school now and we're just back to the regular routine. So anyway, today's video is going to be my beauty favorite for the whole year of 2016. And let me just tell you guys right now that this is going to be a long video because I have so many favorites to share with you. A lot of these are products that I've been loving throughout the whole year of 2016. And I absolutely just love watching these kinds of videos and seeing what everybody else's favorites are for the year of 2016. So I just couldn't wait, wait to share it with you guys. So make sure you guys grab a snack or some popcorn and a glass of wine or coffee or whatever you guys want and I hope you guys enjoy this video without further ado let's just get on with my beauty favorites for 2016 so I'm gonna first go I'm gonna go in the order as I apply it on my face so it's not going to be all over the place so I'm gonna start off with the eye product and I'm gonna first obviously start off with the eyeshadow primer and this is the only eyeshadow primer that I've been using throughout the whole year of 2016 well actually I lie. I've been I was using different primers prior to this but overall this has been my number one go-to primer and this is the wet n wild eyeshadow primer photo focus eyeshadow primer and I absolutely love this product it just makes my eyeshadow last all day long and it's really really affordable next i'm going to go on to eyeshadow palettes and i have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and i wanted to narrow it down to my top three in terms of products or in, term, in terms of brand so the first one is the eyeshadow palette that everybody is talking about and is still raving about to this day because why not rave about it because it's just such an amazing eyeshadow palette and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette and this came out I believe over the summer of 2016 and it has been such an amazing beautiful eyeshadow palette it's just so great I own about maybe two more eyeshadow, uh, eyeshadow palettes from Anastasia and this by far is definitely my favorite a lot of cool uh, not cool tones a lot of warm tones and neutrals and you have your mauves and it's just such a beautiful color you uh, color such a beautiful eyeshadow palette you can definitely create a lot of eyeshadow makeup look with this you can go neutral you can go bold you can go smoky you can do everything with this eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna I have this on my eyes today and I'll swatch for you guys what I have on today on my eyes and these shadows are just super super pigmented so this is, these are the shadows I have on my eyes today the swatches did not do justice on what how beautiful this eyeshadow palette is I'm not gonna go into whole details about um, most of this product because a lot of these products or some of these products I have swatches and review videos on them so if you guys want to see any of these swatches and videos on any of these products I will have all of those videos listed down below in the description box but yeah this is absolutely an amazing product if you guys have not gotten your hands on this please do so because it's definitely worth the money next are uh, the next two are uh, actual well, next three but they're just um for more of you, I should just say now I did down to two brand. But the next eyeshadow palettes are from Morphe, and if you guys don't know Morphe brushes, Morphe has amazing eyeshadow palettes and amazing quality makeup brushes because it's just and the prices, it's just amazing. You will hear me say amazing a lot during this video, so so the first one is the Morphe and Kathleen Light collaboration, and I was contemplating on whether or not to share this because I'm not quite sure if they still have this in stock but I had to I wanted to share with you guys my favorite product and this definitely is my favorite product or uh, eyeshadow palette so this is Kathleen's collaboration with Morphe and if you guys don't know who Kathleen is she is just an amazing youtuber I don't know her personally but her YouTube channel is just great so many videos so many great videos 
and her makeup tutorials are just on point. So this definitely speak Kathleen. I also have a video dedicated to this. So if you guys want to see that, again I will have everything listed down below in the description box. But this eyeshadow palette is just beautiful. A lot of warm tones and mauves and a splash of color which is right here. Really, really beautiful palette and again it's so affordable. If you guys did not get your hands on this, I'm sorry but um, if you do have this, I hope you love this as much as I do because this is just a beautiful eyeshadow palette. Last two eyeshadow palettes I want to show you guys are again from Morphe and these are the huge ones. Um, one is the 350 matte palette and the other one is the uh, what is it? The 35F Fall Frost Fall to Frost palette. So the first one is the 350 matte palette and 350 has two other versions which is the one is the shimmer one and one has all both matte and shimmer in one palette. But I decided to go, go with the matte palette because I love matte and a pop of shimmer I don't do a lot but I figured I don't need all the shimmer pat all the shimmers in one palette but I decided to go with the matte palette because again this is just a beautiful palette. So many warm and oranges and browns and all that good stuff. Perfect for fall, perfect for winter, perfect for any season really and it is a beautiful color and you can again you can do any kind of makeup look with this one. Next one is the 35F palette and this again recently came out last year. I don't remember when but it's just a beautiful palette. It is mostly shimmer eyeshadows and then you have the top one right here the top row with all matte eyeshadow and yes they're just so pigmented I love I love to use these two right here in the bottom for highlighting my inner corners and a lot of people I think also use this to use this as a highlighter for the cheekbones as well but they're just beautiful colors again Morphe palettes are just so affordable I believe that each of these big palettes are $22.99 and a lot of YouTubers, I don't have one, but a lot of YouTubers, YouTubers have discount code for all of these palettes. So if you guys want to save money, check out Kathleen, Jacqueline, Manny, any of these amazing YouTubers. They all have great discount prices for all these palettes. I have two more eyeshadow to share with you guys, and these are single eyeshadows from ColourPop. I have some ColourPop, other ColourPop eyeshadows, but these two are definitely my favorite. favorite because they're just a pop of color and they're just so fun to play with and to use and I'm gonna do a swatch for you guys I did do a makeup tutorial using these two eyeshadows so um, if you guys want to watch that I will have that link down below in the description box but these are the Super Shock eyeshadow in the shade Belladonna Lily and that is what Belladonna Lily looks like just a pretty sea green type of shade and the other one is Luckfully which is just a beautiful navy blue not navy blue but like a, a royal blue shade and it's just they're both so pigmented and so fun to use and if you mix them two together if you put Belladonna Lily on top of Luckfully they just make such an amazing beautiful mermaid color Again, these swatches did not do justice, but this is what they look like. This is Luckfully, and the bottom is Belladonna Lily. And Colourpop eyeshadows are also affordable. I believe they are, they are about 5 bucks each for each eyeshadow, so you cannot go wrong with that. A couple more eye, eye products to share with you guys, and I'm going to go ahead and move on to... Well, let's go move on to the eyebrow product, and the only eyebrow product that I've been using mainly throughout the whole month, uh, not the whole month, throughout the whole year of uh, 2016 is this e.l.f. brow pencil and this is in the shade medium brown again another affordable product you have a spoolie on one end and the um, eyebrow product on the other end which is this is retractable and again I am in the shade dark brown and this is what I have on my brows today. I believe this is only two bucks each. 
so they're very very affordable and they're very very highly pigmented so this is what the eye eyeshadow the eyebrow pencil looks like when swatched in the back of my hand um but again this is what i have on my eyebrows today you cannot go wrong with elf elf i definitely had amazing product and for the price again you can't beat it next i'm going to move on to the waterline product and there are three eyeliners that I used on my waterline that I have been loving throughout the whole year of 2016 and two of them are from Colourpop. Again, I love Colourpop. Colourpop is just, again, so affordable and it's just an amazing brand. So these are the cream gel liners. One is the Honey Dude gel liner and the other one is Get Paid. I have Get Paid on my waterline today. Get Paid is just basically your beautiful coppery penny color really really pretty and honey dude is just your typical nude eyeliner and they both glide on my waterline so smoothly it did not irritate my waterline and i just absolutely love it okay so you can't really see honey dude very well but again this is a nude eyeliner and honey dude is right here and Get Paid is right there. I hope you guys can see that. So they're just really, really pretty. And again, very, very smooth, very pigmented, and super affordable. Another one is, um, this is more of a high-end product, and I got this as a birthday gift from Sephora last year. And this is the Marc Jacob Beauty Highliner Gel Crayon in black and i've been using this a lot lately when i do a smoky eye looks this is a retractable one which i love and appreciate and again super pigmented okay one swipe very very black and again let go light on my waterline smoothly and did not irritate my waterline which is also a plus and it stays on all these eyeliners stays on my waterline all day now I'm going to move on to liquid liners and some people use gel liners, some people use liquid liners, some people use felt tip liners but I personally love liquid gel liners, not liquid gel liners, liquid liners and two products that I've been using a lot um, are the NYX matte liquid liner in black and they're both in black and one is from Wet and Wild. They're super super pigmented, I'm not going to do this wash because Y'all know how they look like, but um, I am wearing the NYX matte liquid liner on my eyes today, and again, it's super affordable, very pigmented, you can't go along with it, and they just make creating ring liners quite easily. Mascara! My favorite mascara of all time, and my go-to mascara throughout the whole year of 2016 is from Too Faced, and this is their uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and this is in the shade carbon black beautiful color very pigmented very black i don't wear falsies because you're new to my channel um, i don't wear falsies i'm still playing around with them but this mascara definitely gives me that falsies kind of look and i love the one of this is kind of like an hourglass shape so really pretty and i also use this on my lower lashes as well and it's not clumpy or anything like that which is great Last eyeshadow product or last last eye product I want to share with you guys are concealers and one is a high end and one is a drugstore. I'm gonna talk about the one that a lot of people are talking about right now and this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is what I have on my as my concealer today. Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Big big hit since it came out. It's always out of stock. I haven't repurchased one, but a little bit of this goes a long way. I usually dip it one time and one time only and it just covers up whatever I need to cover up. It has a doper applicator, a really big doper applicator and I am in the shade light medium and it's just a beautiful shade. goes on really smoothly and it doesn't look cakey or anything like that. Well, I swatched it in the back of my hand but I also want to swatch the next one. And the next one is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer if you guys want to go on a more affordable pack but this is comparable to the NARS concealer, radiant concealer I um, haven't tried that but a lot of people have compared this with this one this is an affordable 
choice. I can't find no one. But this is an affordable choice if you don't, if you guys don't want to use the tight one or the NARS one. The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I am in the shade medium. So when swatching back my hand, these are what they look like. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this one is the Tarte Shape Tape. So again, both are really great quality. Neither of them look cakey underneath my eyes. They do great um, in highlighting the areas where I like to highlight them underneath my eyes, my the bridge of my nose, my brow bone, and my forehead. So again, they and they blend really well as well. Now moving on to the face product, I'm gonna go first start off with the primers and the two primers that I'm loving. One is high end and one is a drugstore. The first one is from Too Faced and this is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I love this primer, very very hydrating, great for the winter time when my skin tends to get dry, especially around my nose area and my chin area. I absolutely love this. I love anything hydrating. This has coconut oil, uh, not coconut oil, coconut water and probiotic based ingredients and it just helps revitalize your skin. Really, really moisturizing and hydrating. Next one was a big hype and I believe it still is because of the high glycerin in it and if you guys don't know, glycerin helps keep the foundation and your makeup last longer and stay or uh, stay on your face all day and the Takia foundation, uh, not a foundation, the Takia a um, primary the better it is for your foundation to stick on to your face so this is the Nivea Post Shea Balm for Men when I first heard about this and I, when I first wanted to try this I was hesitant because I didn't want to smell like a man because this is again a uh, shea balm for men but the smell eventually goes away and definitely it definitely makes my foundation last all day. Really, really great. I've had this for a while and there's still a lot of products left on this bottle. This is a glass bottle and a definitely an affordable brand. Now moving on to foundation. I have a couple of uh, one high end and a couple of drugstore. I'm going to first start off with the high end and this is what I am wearing on my face today. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick. I feel like foundation stick was a big hit throughout the year of 2016 and a lot of brands have come out with their own version of foundation sticks. I think the most popular one was the Makeup Forever one and another one was the Hourglass one um, but I decided to go with a much lower priced foundation stick and I went with the Anastasia from uh, Beverly Hills foundation stick and I am in the shade medium pan. I actually ordered this online and I watched a couple of YouTube videos from Anastasia to make sure I got the right shade for my skin tone and I definitely was on point in terms of shade. This is geared towards oily skin. It said that it has like a matte finish but I feel in my personal opinion it has a silky um, finish. It's not too matte where it seems like it's super drying on your skin but it just gives me the right amount of coverage it's not too, it's not dewy or anything like that and it's not super, super matte like I said but definitely a great foundation stick and you get a lot of product in one stick and this is what the product looks like travel friendly foundation sticks are very very travel friendly and this is what the foundation looks like once swatch in the back of my hand really really beautiful blends easily not, did not make my face look cakey at all and it's just a beautiful finish uh, next are foundations from L'Oreal and uh, again these were definitely popular especially during the summer the first one is the Pro Glow and the next one is the Pro Matte I believe the Pro Matte came out before the Pro Glow but I love these I have a new video oh, I have a video reviewing both of these products and comparing them if you guys want to see that again, I will have that link down below in the description box. But I love these two. Um, I sometimes use it alone or I sometimes mix them together and when mixed together, they're just phenomenal. The finish is absolutely phenomenal. The matte one says it is matte. Uh, both of them, by the way, are. Well, the matte one is 
semi-demi uh, matte finish. They're both 24 hours and they're both medium to full coverage. And the texture is air light, which is this one, and the other one is a um, uh, both air light finish. Like they're both air light finish. This gives you a very beautiful, dewy, luminous finish. This is definitely more on the runny texture. Um, you definitely want to shake this up before you use it. This one is more, um, not too moussey, but it's just a, sort of like a thicker consistency because again, this is matte. Again, this not, this is not like a matte that makes you, your face completely, look completely dry or whatever, but I love the finish of this one and I also love the finish of this one. Next is from Maybelline and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and this is the Dewy and Smooth one. And by the way, the L'Oreal, I am both in the shade Natural Buff. Um, one is 204 and one is 103. And the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, I am in the shade 220, which is Natural Beige. This one is beautiful. The finish of this is absolutely amazing, gorgeous. It's not too dewy where it looks super oily and it's not too matte either, it's just in between. I actually, actually love mixing this and this together because I just love the finish of these two products. Or sometimes when I wear this alone, it's just definitely an amazing finish. Beautiful, beautiful finish. What I do find when I wear this foundation, by the way, is um, you definitely have to set it and what I use to set this foundation or any kind of liquid foundation is from this, this is the Clinique in, uh, Blended Face Powder and this is in the shade Invisible Blend. I love this product. I got this maybe in October, beginning of November, um, but I've been using it non-stop every day ever since I got this and it's just a uh, powdery consistency. There's like a little, you know, stopper on it. It is Invisible Blend so it's not going to go and you know change up your foundation color which is great really 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 sets my foundation really well and it just does not make my face look cakey at all um speaking of face powders the one powder that i love to set my concealer with is from air fun and this is the coty air fun loose face powder and this is the translucent one i believe they also have a non-scented one but i have the scented one so if you guys are sensitive to scent you may not like the scented one, but um, again, they have a non-scented one, so you guys may want to purchase this. You guys can purchase this at Amazon and also Walmart. If you guys are looking for this in Walmart, they are in the nail aisle. I don't know why they are in the nail aisle, but they are in the nail aisle. But this stuff is amazing. Affordable, definitely affordable. I think this is only $6.99 or $6.99, but it's just great. Definitely sets my concealer really well, does not make it make my concealer look cakey. I also use this to bake underneath my eyes and also underneath the contour as well. Okay, we are almost kind of done. So moving on to the bronzers. I have one version that I have been loving and this is from the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I love this bronzer. Oh comes with a brush by the way and I love this bronzer it smells like a tropical vacation and I think this is the light one I think they have also no this is the bronzer one this is a definitely an amazing bronzer so pretty I'm gonna try to swatch this in the back of my hand so you guys can see what it looks like although you may not see it because it just doesn't do justice but this is what I'm to in the morning today if you guys can't see it but I did try to swatch this in the back of my hand really gorgeous color not too ashy not too brown not too dark or anything like that just gives you that perfect bronze and um for contour I have been loving only one contour palette and that is the Wet n Wild contour palette in the shade Dolce de Leche and I am not wearing contour on my face today but when I do contour I love this shade. It's just so so pretty. This one you can definitely see. Um, again, it's not too ashy, not too dark. Really, really perfect. A real great contour. If you guys want, um, you guys can also use this 
to burn up your skin as well, but my personal preference, I like to use this as a contour. For blush, I have two. I'm going to first show you guys the, actually no, I'll show you the blush. This one is from e.l.f. This is the Blush and Bronzer Duo Palette, and this is in the shade BG. I don't really use this shade too much, but I definitely use this one. This is what I have on my face today as a blush. Really, really beautiful. Such a pretty everyday color. Gorgeous. It's not too pink, not too dark or anything like that. Perfect mauve everyday shade. And I just absolutely love this. And again, Elf is an affordable brand. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Next is from the Jaclyn Hill and Becca Face Palette. Again, I'm sorry if I'm sharing this because I'm not sure if you guys still can get this, but I purchased this when it first came out the struggle me that I purchased it because I knew how popular it was going to be and how fast it was going to run out but I love this palette I have a video dedicated to this palette um, with swatches and reviews again I will have the link down below in the description box I love this palette I absolutely adore this palette um, I sometimes use mixed Prosecco pop and Champagne pop together um, as a highlight, um, but for blush, in terms of blush, I love Rosé Spritz and uh, Amaretto, and I sometimes put them together or use them alone, and I'll just swatch them for you guys. So this is what Rosé um, Amaretto is on top, and Rosé Spritz is on the bottom. Rosé Spritz is more in a like a not a shimmery, but it has a shimmer to it. But not, not too overpowering. But um, Rosé Spritz definitely has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's great to use alone or it's great to use as a blush together with Amaretto. Moving on to um, one of my favorite products uh, highlight. Um, I'm gonna swatch Champagne Pop and Amaretto, not Amaretto. Prosecco Pop first because I was talking about the face palette. But Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop are just Definitely high, very high, definitely pigmented, really, really pretty, and when mixed together, it's just so beautiful. Champagne Pop is more of a champagne finish, and Prosecco Pop is definitely, definitely that gold highlight. Really, really pretty. I'm sorry about the background noises, but this is Prosecco Pop is on top, and Champagne Pop is on the bottom really really pretty and again this watch it doesn't do it any justice but almost done so three highlighters to show you guys i'm gonna first watch this in the back of my hand so you guys can see it before i tell you guys all about it all right i have three drugstore highlighters to share with you guys and the first two are from makeup revolution and these are their baked vivid highlighters or vivid baked highlighters one is in the shade Golden Light and the other one is in the shade Radiant Light. And these are what they look like. They're just so, so pretty. I hope you guys can see that either way. Um, but this is Golden Light. Really, really beautiful color. It's like that typical gold color. Um, perfect for any kind of skin tone. If you like light to medium skin tone, really, really pretty. And then the other one is a radiant light. It's like this, like a rose gold. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like when swatch. And the other one is from Essence, and this is the pure nude highlighter. And this is in the shade Be My Highlight. There's only one shade, but this is what the shade looks like. Really pretty. It's just that perfect everyday nude. This, if you guys have textures on your skin, this will definitely not. Um, accentuates the textures. I'm sorry if it's getting too bright in here. But um, yeah, this is just a beautiful everyday color. And one swatch in the back of my hand. These are what they look like. Uh, let's see. This is the Essence one and these last two are from Makeup Evolution. This is the Golden Light one and this is the Gradient Light one. Really, really gorgeous. And I love how pigmented they are and um, at how afford affordable these highlighters are. Okay, we are almost done. Um, to set my makeup, I love the MAC Fix Plus. I am almost out of it, but this is definitely a great makeup setting spray. I love 
the finish that it gives my makeup and yes it's just an amazing product and I have the original stand. Um, to remove my makeup well actually I'm just going to go ahead and go along with the lip powder I have the um, candle jar full of lip products and I'm going to start off with the lip liners they are both from Colourpop one is from Aquarius uh, one is Aquarius um, which is just this beautiful mauve shade and the other one is but the other one is called Lady so Lady is just uh, more of like a wine not wine but like a darker maroon shade and the other one Aquarius of course is the mauve one um, and this is what it looks like when you swatch it in the back of my hand really really gorgeous um, Aquarius is on top and Lady is on the bottom beautiful beautiful shade and again these are very very affordable as well two other color products to show you guys are the ultra satin lip and I absolutely love these they're not drying at all really really pretty gives you a perfect finish um, I have Barracuda on my lip today and the other one is November so by the way November is um, Kathleen Light collaboration with Colourpop really really pretty and Barracuda is just again it's perfect winter color beautiful shade it's like a like a brownish red shade and the other one is like that typical perfect everyday pink nude shade so really really pretty and it's just super super okay next um i feel like liquid lipstick has been like super popular throughout the whole year of uh 2016 and the liquid lipstick that i've been loving so loving and i'm kind kind of disappointed that it's not in Ulta anymore but i know that you can absolutely purchase this on their website and i believe sally's beauty these are from the brand Pladio beauty and they're just so so pretty and i have four of them all right so by the way these are the uh, Palladio beauty velvet matte cream lip shade and um start from the top the first one is angora the second one is boucle the third one is penne and the fourth one is raw silk the shades are really really pigmented so so pretty and i just love the finish of it it's, it's matte but they're not overly drying it just gives you that perfect finish beautiful shade and again these are all super super affordable two more lip brands to show you guys the next one is from NYX and these are the NYX butter glosses um, I have another one in my purse somewhere but I'll just swatch the shade that I have on me right now um, I love these butter glosses they're just super super pigmented oh these are these are what the packaging looks like by the way really really pretty um they have a lot of different choices at the store i purchased mine mainly at ulta and again they're just super super affordable so this is a peaches and cream in the bottom and eclair on top really really pigmented they're not they they don't feel sticky or anything like that and it's just a perfect uh, topper to top off your lipstick with and I think the other shade that I have is called Ginger Food Cake alright last lip products to share with you guys are from Wet n Wild and these are the Soap Finish Lipstick okay so um I swatched the four Wet n Wild lipstick for you guys and I'm gonna try to remember each of the shades I'm just gonna read it off for you before I tell you what they are the top one is Ready to Spoon and then the next one is the next one is what up dark and then the next one is pink dark pink frost dark pink frost and then the third one is cherry frost so yes that is what they look like really really beautiful shade so pigmented again these lipsticks are affordable they're only a dollar each they're not they're still finished so they're not drying or anything like that they're not super glossy really pretty just a little bit of a sheen to it but again a beautiful beautiful lipstick. so uh, i think four more products to share with you guys and then we are all done when i like to remove my makeup what i like to remove my makeup with are these two makeup removers that i've been loving 
I'm not going to go in depth with um, either of these because I did just recently do a time skincare routine so I will have that again listed down below in the description box. But the first one is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water and this is an affordable product. I use this when I don't use the other product that I'm about to share with you guys. This takes off waterproof makeup, this cleanses and it refreshes, refreshes so you don't need to rinse off your face right away and it's not harsh or anything like that. It's really really perfect for my skin. Um, again, it's not too harsh, it's not too abrasive for my skin or anything like that. Very gentle. Takes off, really, really does a great job of taking off the waterproof makeup, especially the eyeliner and the mascara and all that stuff. And then the next one, I mainly use this when I'm in the shower and this is the Clinique Take the Day of Cleansing Balm and this is what it looks like, just this very milky um, balm and you just take it on your fingertips and your clean fingertips and rub it all over your face, massage it, massage it all over your face and it just takes off your makeup and when there's like products that doesn't take it off all the way like the eye product. It did say that it kind of stings your eyes but I haven't really experienced that because I mainly keep my eyes closed when I apply it. but when you don't when it doesn't take off the other excess makeup, I go ahead and use this one. By the way, you use this dry and then you rinse off the water. Last two products that I want to share with you guys are skincare products. And I'm not going to go and share with you guys the clean and clear because that's just my typical everyday go-to skincare product. But these two I've added onto my skincare. And again, I'm not going to go in depth with this because this was also in my nighttime skincare routine. The first one is the Foreo Luna Mini and this is just what I've been using to cleanse off my face and I use this with any cleanser, you can use it with any cleanser but I use this with the cleanser that I'm currently using and it's just perfect, it has two speeds, one is high and one is low, it has two sides, um, I mainly use the front and it also has the back and this is also rechargeable, you just attach the charger, it comes with the charger, you attach this the USB charger onto your computer and it just charges and um, the battery life lasts about 3-5 to five months and again this is a great product and also you can use this in the shower because this is like waterproof and the last one, last product and last skincare product that I want to share with you guys is from First Aid Beauty this is the Ultra Hydrating Repair Serum and I love this I applied it after I apply my toner and before I apply my moisturizer just gives my face that clean, fresh, hydrated look and I use, use this mainly at night. So definitely a great product. Both of these products are high end, especially this one. This is definitely worth the money and also this one as well. So that is all for my best of beauty product of 2016. I know there was a ton of products but I just try to know this as much as I can. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that some of these products were some of your favorite throughout the year of 2016. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. And if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below so you guys can be a part of my YouTube family. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave down in the comments below what were your favorite throughout the year of 2016. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait for what 2017 has in store for me. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!